And do I love to make a good skill guide video. That's what this channel is based on, baby. If it wasn't for these, I'd have nobody. So about seven months ago, I released my best attempt at an alchemy guide to not use a specific glitch that we all know about. Spoiler alert, it wasn't that good. It was. It took a long time to get all the material, and obviously it took more than 100 potions to level up your alchemy. Slightly more recently, though, about a month ago, I broke Skyrim in terms of making this bow and arrow. And I realized that I can level up alchemy in less than two minutes. Nice. If I use this commonly referred to as the restoration loop. So obviously I made a poll to see how widely known the restoration loop is and if you guys use it. And shockingly, these are the results. So be sure to watch this video in its entirety so you know exactly how to level up alchemy to 100 in two minutes. Let's get into the guide. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now that we're into the guide, let's go use this alchemy stand that we got in this video right here. Heck yeah, well that was last week's video. This is this week's video. So, we're gonna need two things, or well, three things, technically. First, we're gonna need Abyssian Longfin for the actual potions. Then we're gonna need Cyrodiilic Spade Tails. Probably about 20 will do you safely. Then, we are going to need to dump off all of our potions, because it kinda gets confusing, especially if you've done this before, as you can see right here. So I'm gonna go on ahead and get rid of all of these. So, in that bow and arrow video that I mentioned earlier, I made this gear right here, the Fortify Alchemy Set. Very simple, very straightforward. Created potions are 25% more powerful. You will need all four pieces at 25%. You could probably get away, it's just gonna take longer if they're not fully 25%. Let's look at all these. So we need this up to three as quickly as possible as we're leveling. Then we'll need the Physician, and we'll need Benefactor. Potions you mix with beneficial effects have an additional 25% greater magnitude, and then more powerful there too. So, and I didn't do it. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. I literally, mm, man, I'm the type of guy, walks in the kitchen, didn't even know what he walked in there for. Turns back around, walks out, remembers it as soon as he lays down. All right, there we go, there we go. And we're back to 15 Alchemy. Now, let's see exactly how many potions it takes to get to 100. So the first one, first off, you may not have this Fortify Restoration. If you don't, just go to your ingredients and click the Abyssian uh, Longfin and the Cyrodiil Spade Tail, and it will make it for you. So, go ahead and craft that bad boy. Quit out of Alchemy, go into our inventory, drink the potion we just made, then take apparel, take this off, put this back on, and then you'll see they have increased. Let's do this one more time, and you'll see it's up to 53%. Back out again. But this time, I'm going to go put this point into alchemy really quickly. And now we can go into potions, drink, go to apparel, take it off, put it right back on, and you'll see it's up a little bit more. So I'm going to do this as many times as it takes. I actually want to see how many potions it takes. Usually it's hundreds um, if you just do this normally. So we're already up to 104%. And this is going to get very exponential very quickly. As soon as we start getting in the thousands, it's going to be, it's going to go very, very quick. I just want to make sure that you guys get this done so you don't have, have to ask questions in the comments because sometimes it's very hard to get to your comments because thankfully the Lord's blessed me and there's a lot of your guys commenting. Um, so let's do that. We're up to 128. That was the fifth potion. And this should work on every version of Skyrim because this is a, ugh, I didn't mean to eat that, bro. Are you kidding me? This is a very, very old glitch from the base game, so it shouldn't be patched. Maybe it's patched if you have the unofficial patch mod, um, but I don't really know about that. So, so I think that was potion seven, or editor, correct me if I'm wrong. You see we're already up to 304. Now, at this point, we should be at alchemy level 20. Nah, man, one more. As soon as you get to alchemy level 20, before we drink the potion, we're gonna wanna go in here, skills, alchemy, one more in alchemist, and then get grab our physician. And I think Benefactor will be at level 30, but we should start going a little faster, and we won't even need Benefactor, I don't think. However, I have lost track of how many potions. I hope the editor is keeping up with it, because I have not. I have failed my duty. So, we'll do this one, then take our apparel off and back on, and then we'll go back down to potions and do this. Anyway, you can make up a bunch of potions like that, but you always want to take off your alchemy set and do that like just like I just did. Now, we're going to go back in here. And we're going to do a 1600 value potion. We're getting very, very high now. Obviously, that didn't sound good. But we're going to do this. Dude, I did it again. Holy cow. I literally eat all my ingredients. Anyway, 
if you're saying that the two minutes is clickbait, I'm assuming that you already have alchemy a little bit of the way up, not just a base 15. I know that's probably stupid of me to do, but I'm assuming that you have things, that you may have things, and the maximum or the minimal amount of time that you could possibly spend on it is two minutes. And already, boom, that gets us to 35. We're going to back out. We're going to go to potions, drink apparel this should literally be one of the last ones i think the next one will get us to 59 and the one after that will get us to 100 no that one got us to 91 holy cow okay so let's do this go back to restoration we can really just make another one of those probably yep and that gets us to 100 so we don't have to crash our game you can crash your game if you do that so this whole recording was eight minutes long i did a lot of explaining though but if you really really want to see how you can use this in the actual gameplay of Skyrim watch this video right here I really recommend the bow video I love that video it was a very good video but above all else make sure you read your Bible make sure you pray make sure you have an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ it's very important that you recognize him as your personal Lord and Savior in this day and age thank you all so much once again for the support on the channel don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe thank you all so much for your time and peace out